Good morning, dear friends. Uh, this is India, and today is a sunny day. And you could see here, I have kept uh, uh, gooseberries uh, to to dry in the sunlight because uh, if you eat that, it is good for your digestion, digestive system, and also it is it is good for your hair. Uh, so bible wants us uh, to be selective in, in what we eat and we have to take care of our body so it's a beautiful sunlight and uh, there are countries uh, we don't get sufficient sunlight uh, in those in those countries uh, but we can pray to god uh, that god has made one sun for all the people so we need to pray to God that he should give good sunshine to all the countries of the world not only India but all the countries of the world and we are we can pray this impossible things to become possible so that every person should get sufficient vitamin D uh, without taking uh, and in medication they can or supplements they can get the natural vitamin d uh, in the morning sunlight so let's get started we're going to read psalm 49 verses 1 to 10. it says that i'm just holding my bible also here so i'll be reading psalm 49 here and sorry for uh, the disturbance around because in india uh, people do a lot of idol worship and today is their festival uh, so the people are celebrating that that's the reason uh, we have uh, noise pollution and but i, I hope that uh, i'm audible and please try to listen this is a word of god to you psalm 49 verse 1 to 10 hear this hear this all you people give ear all you inhabitants of the world both low and high rich and poor together so doesn't matter what is your financial status whether you are rich or poor, whether you have your own house or not, God wants you to hear. Why God wants you to hear? If you want to learn a language, you need to hear more. So God wants you to speak a language of wisdom. And in order to speak the language of wisdom, you need to be good hearer. And the more you hear, uh, good words will come out of your mouth. So God wants you to be called as people who speak wisdom. And the more you speak wisdom, the Bible says that the more you speak wisdom, uh, you will have understanding in your heart. So if you have understanding in your heart, your decision making process will be easy so understanding heart is important and that will come through listening the more you listen good stuff you will have wisdom and understanding i will submit and consent to a parable or proverb I will unfold my riddle. Riddle is nothing but problem. So when you consent, when you agree to a parable or a Bible verse, um, when you listen to God's word, you will unfold your problem because the more you hold on to your problem, God cannot intervene. So you need to unfold your problems to God, tell whatever issues that you're facing be it physical be it financial unfold it to god and the more and the moment you unfold god will take charge of it 
to take care of that particular matter. Why should I fear in the days of evil when the iniquity of those who would supplant me or surround me on every side? You would see that people will try to take your position. If you're married, uh, someone will try to uh, take your position. Uh, if you have the legal rights on something, someone will try to attack. So God says that you don't have to fear uh, those arrows and uh, those attacks. Uh, because what belongs to you will be for you. So these attacks are temporary. They are not permanent. Whenever you think that something is permanent, but uh, this has uh, planned and conspired by Satan to take what belongs to you. But God says that this is temporal. This is not permanent. So what belongs to you will be for you. You are the children of the most holy God and the descendants of Abraham. So the land belongs to you. the riches of the world belongs to you so don't worry uh, when someone tries uh, to attack on your position because that is just temporal amen even though those who trust and lean on their wealth and have boast of the abundance of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem themselves or their brothers, nor give to God a ransom for many, because Jesus paid a very uh, high cost uh, to redeem us, to ransom us. So no wealthy person will be able to do it by himself. Even they try to do, it will not suffice. So no matter whether they uh, are very wealthy, but that cannot save them. Their wealth cannot save them, says the Lord. Uh, it says that for he sees that even wise men die, the self-confident fool and the stupid alike perish and leave their wealth to others. So. Today, the Bible is specifically talking about people who are torturing you, who are troubling you, who are trying to attack you, and they feel that they are superior because of their wealth. They think that they are richer than you. They think that uh, they can plunder your position. They think that they have a loud voice. They think that uh, they can loot you. But God says that even though they think they are very powerful, but they will die. They will die. The other day I was listening to an interview of a doctor. She was a dermatologist. She says, even though a person who does regular workouts and um, live a healthy lifestyle, they... Uh, go through the Botox process in order to enhance their beauty. Uh, they want to uh, tighten their skin and look younger. But, you know, there is a limitation because they have to accept the fact that age factor uh, will not give you uh, beauty all the days of, of your, your life. So because of the age factor, uh, you will look old. You may try uh, uh, to look better, uh, but for everything there is there is limitation. So your money cannot give you beauty. Your wealth cannot give you beauty. Uh, so likewise, Bible says that death is certain. Death is certain. And people who think that they are very wealthy and all the days of their life they can live uh, life on their terms and they will try uh, to trouble the poor but God says that uh, there is 
uh, there is a deadline for them to torture the people of God. So uh, there will be time. God will stop that and God will perish those people who are troubling you, uh, who are torturing you. So God will take them away because death is certain for those people. So don't worry, they are not permanent. Whoever try to take your position, they are not permanent. God will wipe them out from this land because this land belongs to you. The beauty and the greenery of this land is given to you by the most holy God. We receive this promise and do not fear what belongs to you will remain to you. Amen.